it became more and more a, a, uh, a critical part of raising money. It is always setting up more and more opportunities where there's kind of this expectation that everybody has to scratch everybody else's back. If you help with the money, we'll sort of help do something nice for you. And that kind of mindset I think is a slippery slope that can lead to problems. So as far as offering perks such as access to the White House and senior officials, pretty much almost anything goes. It's legal. Well, pretty much. I mean, in terms of offering access to government officials for meetings, that's been going on for quite a while. Uh, I think it, it has gotten, I think, more and more um, sophisticated and you'll see there are multiple levels of giving that gets you more and more access to higher and higher level executives in the government. Um, and those kinds of things have uh, developed to the point where it's pretty attractive to a donor. So I want to show you a couple of those documents. It's very clear on that paper. There's nothing ambiguous about it. You get access to shaping policy, according to that, simply by the amount of cash you can bring to the table. No other qualifications. Well, that is the worst side of this process that you're, you're showing us. It's okay to have a big bash and people can have a nice piece of rubber chicken <laughs> and a nice band, but where you actually start drawing people in uh, who have given the money to the policy discussions, I think there ought to be some way to draw a line there.